I would love for everyone to welcome to the Shadow Dance Edge, somebody near and dear to my heart and from my womb, <laughs> my daughter, an amazing illustrator, 3D illustrator. She's like a book illustrator. She's a, and she does 3D modeling and I'm like a Swiss Army my Yeah, a bunch of really cool artsy fartsy things <laughs> she I'm an artist but I tell you she is my biggest inspiration when it comes to art so welcome to the show Daylin McGlasson yay Hello. so I'm gonna ask you my favorite question what do you choose to create in your world in my world I want to create is I want to vary myself throughout anything that has to do with art because you know there's lots of mediums like uh watercolor color pencil but for me it's kind of like um 2d 3d I'm probably never gonna go into 40 maybe never say never I think I want to oh no I'm I'm brain freezed whoops ah. sorry no it's okay Absolutely. Okay. This isn't what you're doing is incredible. It's not an easy thing to I'm a little shy. Don't worry. Exactly. Exactly. And, and it's, and I want to give you props for even just being here and letting me ask you questions and not just in private. I mean, you're doing it in front of four other five other people. So it's okay. It's okay to be nervous. And you know what? That's really relatable. It's really approachable. And I appreciate that you are open to, to doing this. Um, yeah. So yeah, can I, yeah. you got it or can I brag yeah. about you? You can brag about me a little bit and then I got it. Okay. So one of the things I love about you is your storytelling ability. And you've been telling stories to me since your junior middle school days. And you have this natural talent of, of creating cliffhangers. And you would tell me a story you wrote on the bus um, and on when I'm driving you home from the bus stop. And it would be this cliffhanger. And you wouldn't tell me what was going to happen next, not because you were being mean or anything, although sometimes you are, um, it was because you didn't know what was going to happen next. <laughs> and it was just amazing. And Catch um, off guard, you know. <laughs> but, um, but you're, all kidding aside, your work ethic as an artist is non-paralleled. It's, I have never heard of anybody who works on their art every single day as much as you do. I don't know if, and don't maybe this is not true. I don't know. But to me, from what I observe, is I don't think you've gone a day for years without doing something that was artistic in that day. You know, there's a community that I'm in that where sometimes you have an um, art block and you can't really do anything. But what they tell me to do is that you always got to attempt to do something, even if it's just something small like shading one illustration or something as long as it's just something and if you can do that one something every day then in like a few days or a year or however, however long it's gonna end up gathering all together into a beautiful picture that's yeah. so and that goes for everything not just art I mean uh, I get so overwhelmed sometimes Daylin with the amount of work that I like envision I have to do to get this huge project done and your philosophy about just doing one thing just doing one tiny little bite and if you do that every day the big picture will finally happen but what happens in my world is that my shadow of overwhelm just comes in and it says like, you know, it's all too hard. It's never going to happen. Why even do anything today? Cause it's not going to be perfect. But when I watch you and I, and, and you're sharing things like this with me, I'm just so inspired that it, it can happen. It can be easy if I allow it to be easy. So I appreciate that you're creating what you are in the world. Um, 
So that sounds like what your philosophy is and, and, that, and that you shared with everyone that to do just those little things. Is there, is there anything that you're working on right now that's kind of in your edge that maybe is a little bit scary to you <laughs> that you want to share with us? I'm kind of like have a bunch of things on my plate. Like I have my comics that I'm working on and I also have my portfolio that I'm working on. Uh, attempting to uh, add as many different um, I'm varying my skill sets like in 3D I'm learning how to com compose the lighting and stuff like that I'm also okay so I'm doing comic I'm kind of doing a, a blender animation once per week in the whole year I'm also working on a book illustrating job for a client of mine and um, and I'm also getting ready for school. So that's like four things all at once. Wow. <laughs> I think there's a few more things there, but uh, the, the, too many. So I'm just going to go back to the portfolio. I mean, the reason why somebody creates a portfolio is they're hoping to attract like a certain type of client or a certain job. Can you tell me um, if you could have exactly what you want by next week? And let's just say school's not in the way. Let's say there's not an illustrating job in the way. Let's say nothing is in the way. And you have all the support that you need. Um, who would you like to attract that would come to you and say, hey, Daylin, we need you. We need you now on our team. Please let us hire you and give you lots of money. Who would that be? I mean, the Holy Grail would probably be Pixar. You know, I, many artists work their way many really amazing artists work their way towards Pixar and they probably never get in because, you know, it's the, it's the holy grail. Pixar is kind of like a family, isn't it? They barely ever have anybody leave because they treat their, their people so well, huh? I don't really know about that. Uh, I haven't done much research on, on that part of Pixar yet, but you know, that would be nice. You know, I'd get treated nicely and get paid nicely. Yeah. Money. Uh well, we put it out there, so you never know what'll happen. All right. Is there anything else you want to share with our audience? Do, do you have a place that we can go and follow you? Oh, um, I have usually post often on my Instagram. Do you want me to put the link in the uh, comments? Yeah, you can give it to me later. I'll post it in the show notes. That's not a problem. And where else can we follow you? What about your webtoon, your uh, webcomic? Oh, it's mostly for. Um, for older teens hey you never know who's gonna listen to this yeah uh it's i i post usually probably like once or twice a month on webtoon my comic is called broken parallel and you have how so, many followers now uh you mean like subscribers on on the webtoon or who, how many views oh i have like, like over 60k views on it so far which is pretty yeah. sweet about almost 3,000 um, subs. So. Wow. Can I be you when I grow up? I am serious. Yes, if you want. <laughs> All right. Who would like to ask Daylin a question? I'm an artist also, and people have told me so many times over the years, oh, I can't draw. I've never been good at art. What would you recommend for someone to maybe who wants to overcome that doubt, that self-doubt that they have and push past that and explore getting started with art? What would you recommend? It's always good to look at other artists and follow them and understand how they make their work. That way you can make your own style of art. Like I have my own art style with uh, the different faces than the usual art person and usually I think that even the sometimes issues that I had before was comparing myself to other artists but I think the real thing that people should do is compare themselves to themselves because there's no other way than going up when it comes to art skill you can always uh, keep getting better with and if you look back and think that your art is bad, well, you have 
than the art you have in the present, then that means you've improved. It's like you need to participate in order to win. Maybe you can't win unless you participate. There you like go. The Olympics. There you go. <laughs> yeah, you miss 100% of the shots you never take. And I'm so grateful that uh, you're here today to encourage us to take even just the smallest steps every day. Thank you, Daylin.